dear students i am sever kudiyon department of zoology iyanada janaki amal college sibagasi uh, this video lesson is a part 2 of this phylum echinodermata uh, this is specially prepared for the students studying bees zoology first year and for the core course diversity of invertebrates in this second part of video lesson we are going to study about the morphology pedicellaria and the digestive system of the starfish starfish is a familiar example for the echinoderms they are commonly found in all seashore areas they are marine nature to survive in the marine condition they have specialized features as well as important structures in order to survive in the marine condition since the body is star shaped in nature the body of the starfish is different in differentiated into two regions one is oral and aboral regions usually the oral regions is concave in nature whereas the aboral surface is convex in nature at the aboral side we can see a central disc and from the central disc five arms are radiated on various directions first of all we should know about the aboral surface the aboral surface of the starfish is formed of stout and blunt immovable calcareous spines why well, i am telling about that immovable calcareous spines in case of echinoidea a group of echinoderms they have a movable spines also the spines are so sharp and they are very thin in nature but here in case of starfish the spines are stout and blunt they are immovable but the spines are supported by ossicles ossicles are the minute plate like structures dispersed throughout the body of the starfish between the ossicles you can see the dermal pores the dermal pores are extended as a dermal branchia which are soft and contractile in nature at this dermal branchiae are respiratory in function between the spines there are some other structures called pedicellariae are present the pedicellariae are offense and defense in function they are scissors or spincer shaped structures the aboral surface consists of the anus and a very important structure which is present on the aboral surface is a sieve like plate called madreporite that madreporite is a entry point of water vascular system a peculiar system found in echinoderms next we will study about the oral surface it is located ventrally with the pentagonal mouth the mouth is usually surrounded by a thick ridge of muscles which is called peristome from the peristome ambulacral grooves are arised and in each arm these ambulacral groove runs along the middle of the each arm 
on either side of the ambulacral groove two or three rows of movable calcareous spines are present the movable calcareous spines present only in the oral surface whereas the calcareous spines present on the oral surface are immovable and these spines present in the oral region along the sides of uh, these ambulacral groove are called ambulacral spines and ambulacral groove contains four rows of tubular tube feet for locomotion at the end of each ambulacral groove a terminal tentacle is present the terminal tentacle is with eye spot both uh, structures are sensory in function they used to test the quality of the water in which the sea stars or the starfish is living now we will discuss about the pedicellaria pedicellaria are the microscopic pincer like structures they are found at the base of the spine pedicellaria are peculiar to echinoderms and they are not found in any other animal group let us see the structure of the typical pedicellaria each pedicellaria is formed of a stalk and ossicles the stalk is flexible in nature upon the stalk the three ossicles are present the one end of the stalk is attached with the skin regarding the ossicles one ossicle lies horizontally at the apex of the stalk and it is it is called as basal piece it is immovable the other two ossicles are movable and they are vertical in position and they are commonly called as jaws or valves in this diagram you are seeing the structure of the pedicel area and a green colored structure is the stalk whereas a sky blue colored structure is a basal plate this is one of the ossicles and the remaining two ossicles are mentioned in red colored and they are having a powerful jaws the inner margin of the jaws are serrated and the jaws can be opened and closed by two sets of muscles the closure of the jaws can be achieved by the adductor muscles and the opening of the jaws is brought about by the abductor muscles both jaws are work like a forceps since the presence of forceps like jaws this type of pedicel area are called fossi pulled pedicel area and based on the nature of these uh, two ossicles function as a uh, forceps as well as uh, the based on the nature of the stalk the pedicel area of starfish are classified into two types one is pedunculate pedunculate pedicel area have a stalk and they are also called stalked pedicel area the pedunculate pedicel area usually formed of three ossicles the pedunculate pedicel area is further classified into two types namely straight type and crossed types straight type pedicel area having two jaws remain straight on the basal piece the jaws are work like a forceps whereas in case of crossed pedicel area the jaws are curved and crossed with each other they work like scissors 
Another type of pedicel area found in starfish is sessile pedicel area. They don't have any stalk at all. And these pedicel area never move. The two jaws are arranged like the walls of the clam or the by walls. Sessile pedicel area are not found in Asterias, the so called starfish, but they are present in or aster. And this is a illustration that shows you the pedicel area found in the sea urchin. Four types of pedicel area found in the sea urchin belong to the class Crinoidea, Gemiform. Tridentate, Trifilus, Ophiocephalus. These are the four types of uh, pedicel area found in case of sea urchin. Next, we study about the digestive system of the starfish. The digestive system is formed of alimentary canal and the digestive glands. Let me see the structure of the alimentary canal. The alimentary canal is formed of mouth, esophagus and an expanded stomach. The stomach is divided into two regions namely cardiac stomach and the pyloric stomach. The cardiac stomach is capable of being averted outside of the body. What we are doing while we take the food, our tongue comes out from the buccal cavity to get the food. But in case of starfish, the whole stomach is able to come out of the body while feeding. Here the wall of the cardiac stomach is formed of gland cells. The gland cells secretes the mucus. And above the cardiac stomach, the pyloric stomach is present. The pyloric stomach leads into the intestine with the rectal cecum. The intestine leads into rectum. The rectum opens outside by the anus. Asterias also have digestive glands. The digestive glands are commonly called as pyloric cecum. It is a globular structure or lobe-like structures. The pyloric cecum, each is pyloric cecum is formed of glandular pouches. Usually the pyloric cecum are suspended from the roof of the arms. The pyloric cecum of the starfish is formed of four types of cells namely ciliated cells, enzyme producing cells, mucus cells and strong cells. The mode of feeding and digestion in case of starfish. The starfish is a carnivores. Normally it feeds on various crustaceans, molluscans and sometimes small fishes. When a starfish come across the muzzle with the help of its flexible arms, it holds the body of the muzzle and opens the walls. Immediately after open the walls, the cardiac stomach comes out from the body and which is inserted between the walls on the soft body of these molluscans. After the digestion is carried out by this cardiac stomach, the cardiac stomach is withdrawn once again inside the body. This type of digestion is called extracellular. A digested food is absorbed into the pyloric cecum. Here in the diagram, 
the green colored cardiac stomach is leads into orange colored pyloric stomach the pyloric stomach is extended as a pyloric cecum here the intracellular digestion is carried out all the nutritious substances are digested completely with the help of the glandular secretions and the surplus food is stored in the storage cells the undigested food is passed out through the anus